Hey there, my name is Provis and welcome back to more Hearts of Iron 4, Montezuma's Revenge. Playing as a very aggressive democratic United Mexican states, we're already annexing a lot of territory in Central America, just waiting for some transport ships so we can do the same in Panama. Then we're going to start integrating these guys and turning them all into core states to gain access to their factories and just as importantly, their manpower. So that's all going to be very nice for us. Then we'll make a move against uh, Colombia, Venezuela, and Ecuador, at which point we then have to decide whether it's worth moving on into the Andes Mountains. Peru is going to be a little bit unpleasant to break through. Once we pull that off, it's not so bad, but Peru is just like, eh... I don't really want to fight over that much if I don't have to. So let's just save up some political power. Our good friends, Republican Spain, did unfortunately bite the, the dust after a heroic stand in Madrid, lasting way longer than I thought they would. And that was enough to get us up to the 85 army experience I need in order to finish out our land doctrine. Shock and awe, bada boom. It is the 29th of May. In 1938, and we have finished the Land Doctrine Tree. That might honestly be the fastest I have seen the Land Doctrine Tree completed, uh, at least in my experience, since No Step Back released. That is ridiculously good, dude. Ridiculously good. Anyway, two more weeks with transport ships, then we launch on Panama, finish integrating the South, then we are going to go for... pushing past the Darien Gap. Transport ships are done. Let's go ahead and plan out some naval invasions. Now, I'm pretty sure Panama does not have, like, literally anything defending their capital. Everything's going to be on the border. So even launching just a couple of units should be all we need. So we'll just go ahead and send, like, three off in that direction. Um, I need to get my fleet back. We'll stop training since I've already got way more experience than I need at this point. Send these guys over a away. Group them up, and we will do naval invasion support. No, 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 stop what you're doing. Naval invasion support, please, in the Caribbean Sea. Perfect. I also think we should start researching civilian trains, because I don't have any, which means I can't technically fulfill a lot of my logistics needs, and that's always a dangerous position to be in. So, let's, let's, let's not be in that position. Hey, Panama! Bam! Ma! Bow, 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 bow. It's time to declare the war and go ahead and launch some naval invasions. Integrate the South is done. We're going to go ahead and start integrating whatever. I think they all have basically the same number of factories at this point, so it doesn't even matter too much what we do. Push past the Darien Gap should be fine. We should have enough troops to make that all work. I am going to train up six more units at a lower priority. Now, one problem we're going to have pretty quickly is a lack of manpower to train up enough troops. There goes Panama already, I told you. Enough troops in order to actually challenge the United States. Even in their isolated state, we don't have a whole lot to work with, which is a bit of a problem. So, now, let's go ahead and group all the troops up again and figure out how the heck we want to deal with uh, Colombia. I'm thinking a bunch of naval invasions up over here could be good. Yeah, just like that, we're already out of manpower, just training up a few more units. This is going to be a little bit rough, I'm not going to lie. That is going to be a little bit on the rough side. Um... We need more research slots, man. We need them bad. All right, well, let's go ahead and boost up that stability, and then, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and launch our war and pray that this is the right decision. I'm a little bit worried about our supply and some lack of organization over here in Panama. Um, that could become a problem. But nonetheless, let's launch. Let's see what happens. I just need to flank these guys. They are defending the ports, perhaps unsurprisingly. Um, I do have air superiority, so the cast should be doing their job. Which means I'm pretty sure we're going to be okay. Um, just need a little bit of flanking power. Make sure we get at least one of these down and we're going to be fine. Can you guys now push over this way before they have a chance at doing anything to me? Let's make sure we're flanking over here. We have some shore bombardments and the cast doing their thing. I now want to push back this direction. Try to get to Bogota as fast as is possible. Because otherwise, Colombia is going to be a pretty nasty place for me to fight. Um, we can get infantry expert over here, and that actually helps a little bit. Yeah, Colombia is going to be a really nasty place for me to fight because of all the mountains. And you don't like fighting in mountain capitals. They're just so very unpleasant. So if we can find a way to get in here quickly, pinning these guys down before they're able to do a lot of damage, that would be nice. Let's see if we can keep these guys out of here. They're trying to trickle more units in. I want to flank over here. Let's make sure we have a chance. Some of these guys are coming in this way. Come on, we just need some good flanking attacks on the capital and we'll have it. 
Can almost get in there. Almost get in there. Just a little bit more. Hit them over here. There we go. Come on, Cass. Do your thing. Come on, Magic Cass. Do your thing. You can do it. I know you can. If you wanted to, I know you could do it. Oh, we're getting close, man. Uh, anything else we want to get with my army experience since we're now finished? I guess we could go for some stuff like some divisions. A little bit of extra breakthrough is not a bad idea. Let's do that. You know, a little bit of attacking on defense uh, or offense kind of a thing. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, let's hit them from this direction as well. Come on, you're being like super flanked right now. You can't last that much longer. Come on, work with me here, buddy. Work with me. Oy vey. Um, he's just getting too many reinforcements into position. Let's just hold off for a second. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and repeal the Calais Law over here. Let's get a more powerful church plus some additional base stability so we hopefully are not gonna have uh, a lot of issues with the church. Send at least you here. You here. And that's like as much flanking power as you could possibly hope for. Civilian trains are done. Excellent. Um... There's a lot of things I very desperately need here, including some extra research speed. So let's go ahead and pick some of that up. Almost got gotcha. you. Pin this guy down. Don't let him send in reinforcements. Thank you. All right. Columbia's done. Now we can move on to Venezuela. Appealed the law. Let's go for abolishing of capital punishment. An extra 160 political power will allow me to change over to a limited conscription law. An extra 1% recruitable population could certainly make a bit of a difference for me. Not massive, but a little bit anyway. And we're going to be going for a naval invasion up around Caracas, just because I do think that's going to be a little bit easier for me to deal with. Rather than try to punch through this front line, we can just kind of hit him from his back door, snag most of his important victory points just like that. That's all I'm going for. Uh, we're integrating the last couple states here, then there's only Honduras left, so we're almost done with all of that. I don't think there's much point in waiting. Let's go ahead and do this. They're fascists, so I'm a little bit worried about them joining the Axis, but hopefully not. Go ahead and launch your assault. Not all my troops are in position. Oops. Um, well, that's gonna be interesting. We're just gonna sneak in over here and take that. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure that we are assisting in taking out Caracas. If we can actually hit you, that'd be great. We're about to land over here. That was no problem whatsoever. Let's see if we can snag this victory point. Push you down this way. Pop in over this direction, get a little bit of that going. Do we have any air superiority? The answer is a resounding yes. This should be the last victory point we need, and that'll be the end of Venezuela. Easy! That's a few thousand more guns for me. Pass, pass, pass. Take all states, and done. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Now we get Donovan into Ecuador. This should be fun. No problem at all. Uh, one more state to go ahead and start integrating. It's not translating into quite as much power as I would have liked, to be honest. I mean, we've grown our empire a fair bit. But do I find myself sitting on an absolute ton of uh, factories and stuff? No, we're still sitting at only 38. It's not great. <laughs> Engineering companies are finally going to be an option for me. Um, what do we want, really, though? Uh, I, I would normally go for industry. Extra stats aren't a terrible plan. I think we just need to keep stacking up soft attack. As, as much as the doctrines are helping me, I have to be very careful and make sure I maintain my uh, manpower as much as I can. Because we're um we're kind of we're kind of struggling a little bit over here. Let's increase that conscription. That'll help. Uh, state education for a research slot doesn't seem like a bad idea. Move down toward an assertive church instead of powerful, but the extra research slot seems really good. Then again. I'm about to run out of war goals, and I kind of have to continue going to war. Maybe the next thing we do is we start trying to liberate the Caribbean. Because that will give me some additional integration options as well. And I really need more core states. Let's shoot for that. Alright, Ecuador, your turn! Let's go ahead and push you guys together along the coast. Push you guys along over here. Then we'll take a look toward Quinto. Like so, you are now going to assist over here. You're going to push all the way down to this victory point. We're going to make sure we get some pretty solid flanking bonuses. Like so, there's going to be no problem at all. Then you guys are going to push into Quinto. You guys are going to come down over here and assist. Just like this. I'm trying to get some additional upgrades for my um, spy agency, by the way. Only in case a second spy ends up being helpful. Though since we're democratic, we can't set up collaborative governments, can we? I don't think we can, which is a little bit on the awkward side, so... Yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to do much against the US, but a little extra intel, you know... I can think of worse things. 
Let's just go ahead and march right on in here, and then this is gonna be a really easy war. Done, that's another 10,000 or so equipment for me. Honestly, that's kind of where a lot of the value is coming from this. It's not just getting the factories, it's the fact that I'm stealing all the equipment. I've got enough equipment that we can definitely start training more troops, I just don't have the manpower. So let's integrate the Caribbean, let's go for that research slot. I'm now ready to go ahead and declare some wars. We want to go and fight against Cuba, again, Monroe Doctrine. Ptwh. I spit upon you. Let's go ahead and launch some naval invasions and hope that this is not a horrible, horrible mistake as we try to land. I need to get a spy. You'll do fine. Let's go ahead and start spying in Havana. Won't be for very long, mind you, but that's fine. He's got troops all over the place. Of course he does. Oh, that scares me a little. No, no, it's, it's probably fine. They're like super weak troops, right? Just like, just like hit Havana. He's trying to attack me and he's losing himself in the process. We're fine. A-okay, no problem. Let's go ahead and get this all taken care of. We'll snag Havana, then we'll have ports, and we're taken care of. Excellent, all right. Move, move, move! And then we can go ahead and start setting ourselves up for some uh, naval invasions in Haiti and the Dominican Pro Republic. I can't do anything against Jamaica, though, because that is owned by the UK. Because imperialism. And Cuba has gone bye-bye. Oh, gosh, dang it. Why can't I just start with enough war score? Why can't I just start with enough war score to take it if there's no one else involved in the war? Oy vey, I don't even know. I don't even know. Anyways, who? Uh, just gotta wait a few more days so we can go ahead and launch this. And you know what? While I'm at it, I'll probably go ahead and launch the Dominican Republic at the same time. Might as well. Haiti, hello. Time for you to go bye 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 And then once we land, it's gonna be even easier for me to go ahead and move into the Dominican Republic. Just waiting a couple of days. You know what? I think we go ahead and declare a war over here as well. Might as well launch all of this too and blah, blah, blah. So here come the troopsies. And whoa, there was a lot more over here than I was expecting. Hello, that's a, sp oh boy, wait a minute. <laughs> no, wait, not like that. That, no, no, wait a minute. No, seriously, not like that. Yeah, admittedly, this naval invasion's not exactly going quite the way that I expected it to. Uh, let's go ahead and start getting up to date on some guns, and we are gonna launch a whole new round of troops that are also attacking all at the same time. Aha, okay. Now that I'm throwing men into the situation, we might actually be able to land. That's better, much better. Okay, okay, now we're getting somewhere. Good lord. What a pain. Okay, so Haiti's taken care of. Cool, take states and now we just gotta do this over here, but this time we don't even have to do any naval invasions, which means it should be really easy to finish these guys off. Italy has joined the German Reich. That finishes off the Dominican Republic, which means we are done with all of that. So the Caribbean is now mine. At least as much as it can be. So I'll be able to start integrating that once I finish up another focus, which I did just do. So do you wanna do that or do we wanna go ahead and start gearing up for another war? We could invite Brazil to join in on our uh, faction. If they were to do so, that would make fighting Peru really easy. Alternatively, you know, we really need to consider going for some dang focuses over here, for real. Some of this has been pretty bad. Recruitable population down here, hello. Yeah, and some consumer goods and stuff. I mean, I usually would have focused on that a lot sooner, but I need to work down this. I think we need to try to go for another round of conquests, but we have a brief moment to take a bit of a breather and get our armies in position for the next round. Oh, Gimli, my boy. Oh, he missed me so much while I was at Paradox Con. I kid you not. This boy is so much happier having me home, aren't you, sweet boy? Oh, yeah, you can't get comfortable like this, though, can you? Look at the camera, Gimli. Look up there. No, you don't want to look up there. Okay, okay, we'll let you back down. Gotta throw in the pupper once in a while. That's how you get the viewer engagement. A like for Gimli. Oh, and I have that extra research slot. Excellent. Okay, um, let's go ahead and just start improving my industry a little bit further. Three research slots will help. It, 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 it's gonna help a little bit, we're getting there. Starting to produce some fighters and close air support just to finish out some wings and make things a little easier. Still don't have uh, an absolute ton of planes, but at least I got two full wings of close air support. This is all gonna change, by the way, once uh, we do get to uh, the next expansion where Blood Alone. I gotta take a look a little bit at the uh, air stuff. It's kinda cool how different it's going to be. I mean, it's, it's really going to be very different. 
But, uh, you know, it's also gonna be a lot of a readjustment. I'm curious to see where the meta is gonna fall as far as, like, specialized planes versus generalists, you know what I mean? That could be kind of fun. Anyway, we're gonna try to do some naval invasions up over here just like we did with a bunch of the others because this is gonna be a kind of nasty area for us to be fighting. So I don't want to keep too many troops up over here and I really want to make a push on his victory points as quick as I can. Oh, hello. There's some manpower. Oh, thank God. Okay. So what to do with them next? Um, we could start working on some better... Oh, wait, we need engineers, don't we? Right, let's not forget that. I have enough equipment, no problem at all. Let's go ahead and get some entrenchment going. Um, we could start moving up towards some more artillery-focused offensive units. I don't think I need those for fighting in the rest of... Well, it wouldn't be bad. I mean, the mountains are multiples of 25, right? I'm trying to think of, like, where we'd be fighting in, like, Argentina and Chile. Yeah, they are multiples of 25, so having some stronger units wouldn't be bad. At the same time, 21s, I'd be 6 over combat with the penalty. It's not that bad. I don't know. Um, I do know that we want to train some dang cavalry, and I know that sounds insane. But, fast units, faster units anyway, if we can get enough that we can start punching through the American front lines and encircling aggressively using cavalry as soon as possible, that wouldn't be bad. I'm highly concerned about whether we are taking too long to go and fight against the U.S., if I'm honest. Very concerned about that. I feel like we kind of we kind of need to get going on this, or they're going to get too powerful. Okay, let's go ahead and... Wait, why can't I get sense of conscription? Oh no, I need to be at war. Well, we can fix that pretty soon. I can definitely go to war. Let's seize the P Panama Canal. This is not going to happen instantly. It gives me a decision with which I will be able to uh, conduct the uh, event. But once we do that, the U.S. might... Oh, there's World War II. The U.S. might intervene. They might retaliate against me, which I don't really love. U.S., what do we know about you, by the way? You are still on undisturbed isolation. So long as that's the case, they don't really get to be very strong. They don't have a ton of units. If I'm careful and I can get the rest of these guys trained up, we can take on the US. But if I wait another year, like literally another year, they will probably start ramping up and kill me. And we don't want that. That's kind of why I want to get some cavalry units. I never do it. But that little bit of extra speed could make a difference to allow me to start pu uh, punishing the U.S. and taking a load of extra encirclements. Anyways, Zuhu, are we ready to go ahead and fight against Peru? Uh, I think the answer to that has to be yes, whether I feel like I'm ready for it or not. There goes that. And I'm still unable, unfortunately, to take a consent of conscription because my war support sucks. That's fine. Hold on. Let's do some war propaganda against the German Reich and try to get that political power back up. Launch the naval invasions! And let's see if there's anything we can do to make sure that we win some of these fights. I want to get some serious flanking power, and I want to push along that coast to make it as easy to get over here and help as possible. Just in case it turns out he's got a lot of troops defending his coastline. Wouldn't surprise me one iota if he does. Uh, he definitely has some. Hold on. I'm going to change you to be a uh, naval invasion support, please. Go ahead and do some shore bombardment. Okay, confirmed. He definitely has troops over here. Uh-oh. Okay, where's my planes, by the way? Do we have them? Oh, God, I forgot my planes. Ha! That's a problem. Hold the phone. Close air support over here, please. Ah! Yeah, no. Yeah, no. We need planes to ensure that I can launch these successfully. Please and thank you. All right, we're getting close on some of these uh, coastlines. That helps. Okay, he's not able to do anything there. I got something. I got his capital? It looks like I got his capital. So now we just need to take this. Okay, if we can do that, we've got him. Let's pin these guys down so he can't go anywhere. Grab this, and is that the end? Yes. Oh, thank God. All right. A little nervous. I really can't afford to lose any troops right now. I can't afford to waste anything. So while we've got that all going for us, do I think I have time to launch another invasion elsewhere? Because I'm not at war anymore, so I kind of need to be in order to get this conscription. I did get some war support, but the propaganda didn't last very long. Then again, it's going against the Germans, so who cares, right? So Bolivia next? I mean, I guess. We got some time. 
Let's go for Bolivia next. Warsaw has fallen. We have seized the uh, Panama Canal. Do we go for integrate the Caribbean next? Yeah, probably. Rescind the Mexican secession. This would let me start going for a war goal against the US. But again, there's a good chance with the Panama Canal, they're gonna do that anyway. So I'm not really feeling like I need to go for that right now. There's Operation Just Cause. Start a border conflict, and again, strong possibility the US attacks me. Not doing that until I have at least a handful more troops trained up. Definitely not. Uh, Poland has capitulated, excelente. Um, there's the Netherlands, yeah. So while we're doing our thing, World War II is properly kicking off here. Let's wait until some more troops get into position, then we'll try making a push against uh, Bolivia. How are we doing on manpower and stuff, by the way? Because, oh wait, we're democratic. I should do local autonomy. Ah, I should have done that a long time ago. That would have helped get some compliance up and running. Uh, whoops. It's one of the only good things about being democratic is you actually have a reasonably good amount of compliance gain. And then swap you guys out to garrisons. Costs a little bit less manpower and equipment to get some of that same suppression value. That should help me just a little bit. Are my troops in position yet? Gosh dang, guys, what's wrong with you? They're taking their sweet stinking time. All right, we're ready to go for it. Let's go ahead and do this now. Boom, boom, bada, bada, boom. More research done. Uh, production efficiency, or how about some defense and breakthrough? Because I need better infantry for sure. Just get into the capital and we'll be fine. I've got close air support. We got it. Belgium's gone. Belgium and Bolivia are both going to be gone. Why have I still not got access to this? I don't have a strong enough enemy. Dang it. Against Peru, I could have done it. But now I'm not... I'm not getting more manpower is what you're telling me. Ah, uh, no. I need to fight someone stronger is what you're telling me. Ah, uh, no. Like Chile? Should I go fight Chile? If I keep this war going and I fight Chile, can I all, no, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know if this is a good idea. Maybe it's a good idea. Maybe I can just pop in here real quick and just like encircle him. Do it! Get in here, quickly! Don't let him go anywhere, stop him! Get in here and encircle his tropes! Now I'm strong enough, extensive conscription! <laughs> Oh, uh, no. All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, more factories still coming in, huh? Uh, well, you know, apparently we still need things like support equipment. But we're getting there. Uh, extra fighters and cast, please. Then we'll worry about some of that. Oh, good lord. Good lord. My economy is way too dependent on the United States right now. This is gonna be a problem at some point, for sure. Um, he's trying to stop me from going anywhere. I can... I'll see you... I'll see you encounter that and try to attack you. Prevent this guy from going anywhere, please. Mm, that didn't work. Okay, hang on. Can you hit them here, please? Hit hard. Where are my planes? They're over here. Yeah, if we can get this, we'll technically encircle some of these guys, and that helps. Okay, help me take this out. More troops have been trained. Excellent. That's a new army. These guys are going to set up against the United States of America. The U.S. is going to be looking at the borders like, The frick they doing over there? You're like, oh, just you wait, Henry Higgins, just you wait. The Mexicans are coming for you, man. We're coming for you! Seriously, though, can we, like, get into Santa Cruz and stuff? I'm, like, actually concerned that we're not going to get to the capital. I may have spread myself a little thin here. I actually really need you guys to get over here. There's Bolivia. Excellent. Thank God. All right. Pass, pass, pass. And take all states, and you're done, boom, bye. Then, hold on, you guys here, you guys here, all of you here. And now I just need to go take out Chile. I need to somehow push down all of this, it's gonna be awful. Uh, let's see if we can move our planes forward a little bit closer, especially the close air support. And there we go, all right, that's, that's better. We'll get over here with a surprisingly large airport. Don't know how that happened exactly, but all right. We got our air superiority. Push. Push. Push, dang you, push! We may want to actually consider doing a naval invasion. I think I will. Well, here goes nothing. Let's hope this wasn't a horrible blunder as well. Um, so we did just finish with the integration options. Let's integrate Cuba, Dominican Republic, and Haiti. I don't really expect them to have much to offer me. Cuba had just a handful of little things. Yeah, they all got the exact same stuff from their focuses. Just three little buildings each. That's all they get. 
Let's swap over to some slightly better infantry equipment so we can kill people more effectively. And lo and behold, I'm actually starting to get a positive number of manpower. Not much, mind you, but positive. Let's go ahead and start training up some uh, more cavalry and ruin that promptly. So we're launching the naval invasions. I'd like one of you to get over here to Santiago and we'll just go ahead and hold on to this coastline if possible. We're landing over here, no problem. One of you guys also pop up over here and assist. So these guys are officially encircled at this point. Uh, let's move up over here, make sure that we grab all of this and keep them isolated from each other. German interest has begun in Scandinavia. Isn't it nice to be so interesting? Wait, no, not like that. That's not what we wanted. All right, Denmark is going bye-bye and there's Chile. Alrighty. I think that's all we can afford to do at the moment. That's all I can really justify doing in South America. I think it is now time to turn our attention toward the United States because we're about to hit 1940. And if I wait pretty much any longer, I think we can safely say that they are probably gonna find a way to get off of that isolation. So I don't know, let me think about it a little bit. Maybe we push more into Argentina and Paraguay and Uruguay. Or maybe I just push north. We trigger a Panama incident and we see what happens. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.